Hey there guys, welcome to another video. Uh, so just want to make a quick video about different browsers that work, that still work with Vista, XP, uh, older systems that are no longer supported. So um, I'm sure we've all seen kind of uh, articles like this where they basically have like lists of different, you know, programs that may or may not work with uh, older systems. So I wanted to test some of these out. So on this list we have, uh, we have Opera, we have uh, UR Browser, we have uh, Kmelion, uh, Midori, Pale Moon, Maxthon, and Firefox. So we know Firefox no longer supports Vista and is using an older version. Uh, I'm not sure about Opera. Um, and this is, uh, I'm not sure if this is just rewritten, but it says March 31st, 2020. So I did check into this. So Midori actually doesn't have a Windows version at this time. Pale Moon no longer supports Vista. Another one that I had found uh, that's not on this list is Sea Monkey, and that one also no longer su supports Vista. So um, I'll just show you the ones that actually I actually could get to work. Uh, UR Browser failed to install when I tried to install it, and then Opera also never, the installer never worked. So I'm not sure uh, what happened there. Uh, but anyways, I'll show you a couple different ones that did work, and uh, I did a previous video uh, that uh, you'll be able to see in the corner uh, that I did with the big three browsers so those being Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox. So two additional browsers I had found, one uh, called Komodo Ice Dragon. Uh, it did not work, as you can see it gives me an error here. And it also decided to install Komodo Cloud Antivirus, which uh, was kind of interesting. Another browser that did not work was the uh, Slim Browser and that also gave me an error. I did go back and check and uh, made sure that both of these were compatible and they were 32-bit and they both just did not work. So uh, those two were a no-go. So the first one to actually work was Kmelion and uh, it has some interesting features to it as you can see in the title bar there you can turn off cookies turn off java javascript pop-ups images uh, so it's meant to run on really low-end hardware it looks like and um, as you can see first website i go to youtube does not work it tells me to update the browser and i knew from there on that i would have very little luck with other websites so um, i did try some other websites facebook marketplace and uh, got the same kind of issues that I had with uh, Chrome and Internet Explorer that I had on the previous video. And I did go ahead and uh, cut out the loading of the website because it took a while and as you can see I got barely anything out of it. Uh, so the next one I tried was CNN and uh, I also got uh, barely anything there. And as you can see it sort of loads, um, but it's uh, not showing all the graphics that it should. Um, however, I was able to look around the website a little bit and it worked okay. Still passable. And the next website I tested was MSN, which um, as you can see I skipped through the loading process here, but it did load okay. Uh, some of the graphics did not show up right away, but you could scroll through the website, so I will give that one a pass. And next up was Bing, and Bing has seemed to be the easiest to load website on each browser, and uh, this one was no different, so it loaded up everything, including the background, and I did the Windows Vista uh, search. And as you can see here, scrolling is fine. And then going to the images tab works just fine. Everything uh, it takes a minute to load, but once it does, uh, it seems to just work just fine. And next up is Google. And uh, Google also worked just fine. Uh, used the same search term and also looked at the images there as well. And there was some initial stutter when scrolling, 
but eventually it smooths out. Everything loads up just fine. We have all these links as well as the images that are loaded there on the images tab. Uh, same thing, uh, loads up fine and uh, eventually everything loads up and uh, I'm able to scroll through all the images there without issue. And next up to test is Apple's website. So uh, Apple's website did take a minute to load there, but it did seem to load up just fine. And as you can see, everything appears just as it should. And I'm able to click a link. And uh, although not everything is going to load as it should normally, but um, it does look just fine. Loads up. You're able to scroll through the page. So I'll give that one a pass also. And next on our list here is Microsoft's website, and that one also seemed to load up just fine. Loaded images, I was able to click a link, and everything was uh, just fine and proper on there as well. So I give that one a pass also. So our next browser that I tried was Lunascape 6, um, and this one was just very frustrating to use. So um, in my previous video, I did note that a lot of the browsers were giving me security issues because of the HTTPS, and this one basically gave me security alerts every single time I went to a website. Every single time I clicked around, it gave me these constant pop-ups, and honestly, rather than have you guys see me try to use this it was just very frustrating so i gave up um i doubt that any person in their right mind would want to try and use this browser this way um, however i did try to go to one or two websites but after i got so many of those pop-ups i just gave up it was just very very frustrating so the two websites i did try were youtube and facebook marketplace However, I constantly got pop-ups, which was not a good experience. And uh, basically, at the end of this video here, I just want to let you know, out of the many options that you supposedly have uh, for using browsers on Vista, you really don't have that many options at all. Um, K-Million worked. Um, Pale Moon, not available. Uh, Opera, I wasn't even able to get that to install. Sea Monkey was not available. Lunascape, you see exactly what, what you get here. and. Uh, Slim Browser didn't work at all either. Uh, Komodo Ice Dragon, that one didn't work either. So a lot of these just, it's really hit or miss. And uh, you're honestly better off using a one of the bigger browsers that was available at the time. Uh, so the only recommendation I can give is using Firefox, even though it's an older version. It'll eventually become more and more out of date because it's not being updated anymore. But you're really low on options there. So. Um, it is possible that you know somebody may decide to come along and make a browser that will work better on older systems, but uh, for right now, the only option I see that's viable is using Firefox. So anyway guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you did like it, please consider giving me a like. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.